fields of government, we must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. In Dallas, Texas, three shots were fired at President Kennedy's motorcade in downtown Dallas. The first reports say that President Kennedy has been seriously wounded by this shooting. It is a big idea. A new world order. It was almost as if it were a planned implosion. It just pancakes. Either you are with us, or you are with the terrorists. But I also believe that a lot of gun owners would agree that AK-47s belong in the hands of soldiers, not in the hands of criminals. Guns will be taken. No one will be able to be armed. We're going to take all the guns. For many of the police and guard troops, it is an uncomfortable job to do this in an American city. It's global governance at last. Is it one world? The central bank is in charge. But aren't we all just living and dying for what the central banks do? As for me, give me liberty or give me death! The answer to 1984 is 1776. Good evening, I'm Gigi Arnetta with your InfoWars Nightly News. It's Wednesday, September 11, 2013. Here's what's topping the news. Tonight, Google to face wiretapping claims in Street View lawsuits. Then, the campaign for gun control tightens its grip on the American people. And Gigi Arnetta sits down with the man who had his guns confiscated illegally. All this and more on tonight's InfoWars Nightly News. Bikers rolled into Washington, D.C. today. They didn't have a permit, but they made it through anyway. In fact, parts of I-95 were closed as they rolled into town. They were there because the Million American March Against Fear, originally called the Million Muslim March, but was rechristened after the name prompted widespread publicity earlier this year, was there, and they were permitted by the National Park Service for 1,000 people for a location between 13th and 14th Streets in Northwest. And the bikers wanted to come in and stand against that as it is 9-11 and they couldn't get permits. They said to the bike riders that they did not have what they needed, the resources to facilitate that sort of thing. But the bikers rolled into Washington anyway. So Washington officials could not grant two million bikers a permit for a rally, but they were able to give the Muslim March people a permit. So who is Washington, D.C. in bed with? In Colorado, they have ousted two unpatriots from office. Lawmakers ousted in recall election over strict gun laws. That's right, they got rid of the unpatriots and put in real patriots. People seem to be tired in Colorado of dealing with these really strict gun laws. In a devastating blow to gun control advocates, Colorado recalled two high-profile senators Tuesday night in what is shaping up to be a referendum on the state's recently passed gun control laws. The recall included the Democratic president of the Senate, incumbent John Morse, along with Democratic state senator Angela Giron, who both backed gun control measures. The firearms legislation they supported included size limits for magazines and expanded background checks for private and online gun purchases. And although Giron represents a mostly Democratic working class district, Democrats there are big supporters of the Second Amendment. Recall organizer Timothy Knight said voters were upset that Colorado's Democrat majority legislature seemed more inclined to take its cues from the White House than its constituents. The gun laws passed this year with no Republican support. Knight said if the people had been listened to, these recalls wouldn't be happening. Colorado is one of 19 states where voters can recall their elected officials without having to prove any evidence of fraud or misconduct in order to gather the signatures that are necessary to schedule a special vote. The recall elections were the first ever for the state since they adopted the procedure in 1912. Out-of-state contributions flooded in for both parties, with Bloomberg and the NRA each contributing more than $300,000. These contributions from Mayor Bloomberg of New York and other liberals from Washington and California raised suspicions from Colorado voters who said, it's our election, not D.C.'s, not New York. 
The reported $3 million in donations from Morse and Giron dwarfed the amount raised by gun activists. But in the end, it was a recall majority actually showing up to vote that prevailed. An NRA spokesman said Colorado voters sent a clear message that their Second Amendment rights are not for sale. Tuesday's recall could be seen as a clear warning to other lawmakers who are thinking about supporting tighter gun control laws, and that is that your vote could have swift consequences. Be aware and break free from the New World Order by visiting the InfoWars store and picking up a copy of American Drug War II and State of Mind Psychology of Control. They're being sold exclusively at the InfoWars store and they are now on sale. Reporting for the InfoWars Nightly News, I'm Leanne McAdoo. Have you been to your doctor lately? If you have, you might have gotten asked about the guns in your home. Yeah, that's the newest thing. Welcome to Obamacare. The Daily Paul writes that a patient went in and one of the questions they were asked was about their weapons at home. The person says, needless to say, I didn't answer these questions and asked a few myself. Like, what kind of form is this? Is this a government form? Is this tied to Obamacare? The nurse verified that it was indeed a government form and that they're required to ask these questions. That's pretty scary. Remember recently I did a report where a man lost his child to CPS because he was reading a gun magazine. And in that same report, I talk about the veterans who are now going into the VA for examinations. And it's kind of a trick thing. They go in there and they actually get asked about their guns and then end up losing their guns. The VA doctor actually admitted that they're getting $3,000 a head for each veteran that they get their guns from. Willingly or unwillingly, because you have a choice, you can hand over your weapon. And remember the other article on Infowars.com recently, the NRA joins the ACLU lawsuit and claims that the NSA is starting a gun registry. This is key because they are going to put together enough of a gun registry where they can just come take your guns. And right now they're just doing it illegally. I mean, that does violate our constitutional rights. Welcome to America. And Obama asks Congress to wait on Syria because he has to ask the UN. I'm also the president of the world's oldest constitutional democracy. So even though I possess the authority to order military strikes, I believed it was right, in the absence of a direct or imminent threat to our security, to take this debate to Congress. I believe our democracy is stronger when the president acts with the support of Congress. And I believe that America acts more effectively abroad when we stand together. This initiative has the potential to remove the threat of chemical weapons without the use of force, particularly because Russia is one of Assad's strongest allies. I have therefore asked the leaders of Congress to postpone a vote to authorize the use of force while we pursue this diplomatic path. So, of course, he went ahead and met with the Congress, but he's really going to go to the UN to get permission. So Obama agrees to U.N. discussion of putting Syria chemical weapons under international control. He says this morning that he spoke separately with President Hollanday and Prime Minister Cameron. They agreed to work closely together and in consultation with Russia and China to explore seriously the viability of the Russian proposal to put all Syrian chemical weapons and related materials fully under international control in order to ensure their verifiable and enforceable destruction. These efforts will begin today at the UN and will include a discussion on elements of a potential UN Security Council resolution. Thank you, President Obama, for consulting with the UN, but we should start here at the United States, perhaps. Russia to offer Iran S-300 missiles, nuclear reactor. Putin decided to grant an Iranian request to supply the Islamic Republic with a high-end S-300 air defense system with a deal estimated at $800 million, which will also include coordinating the construction of an additional nuclear reactor in Bashur. Putin has instructed his staff to prepare the agreements so as to discuss them with Iranian President Hassan Rouhani during the two leaders' scheduled meeting on Friday. The source believes that Tehran will accept the renewed Russian proposal. Well, hopefully, President Hassan Rouhani will actually show up, unlike President Obama, who decided to cancel on Putin. Not a good idea. Google is at it again. Yes, Google antics. 
Yes, Google can face wiretapping claims in a Street View lawsuit. A federal appeals court decided Tuesday that Google Inc. can be held liable for violating a federal wiretap law when it collected personal information from Wi-Fi networks while obtaining photographs for Street View. Between 2007 and 2010, the Street View fleet also contained Wi-Fi antennas and software that collected data transmitted by Wi-Fi networks in homes and businesses. Yes, this is the same company who's saying that you uh, can forget about the passwords, that they're a thing of the past. Yes, let's trust Google since they actually take information from your Wi-Fi network. New startups looking for ways to keep their users secure should know one thing. A top of Google security executive said Tuesday, passwords are dead. The Google executive mentioned that hackers intent on making money from their bad acts had consistently found ways to exploit Google users who had yet to turn on two-factor authentication. The Google executive didn't mention, however, that Google hijacks your information and steals it and uses it and sells it. Go figure, right? Stay with me till after the break as I talk with Joe Mendez about what's happened to him. His guns have been confiscated in California, and he's got some new information for us. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.